Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about graphing systems of equations uh, that will show us how many solutions they have or if they even have a solution. That's what we will see when we graph a system of equation. That way we can pick no solution, one solution, and pick many solutions. So before we start uh, graphing them right away, I just want to go over some basics. So over here, the numbers negative 5 in front of the x values, those are the slopes. They, they, they tell us how steep our line is going to be, okay? These are about the slopes. They are the slopes. That means go down 5, right 1. I will explain in a moment. And then these numbers tell us where the lines start from, starting point okay and they are called the y-intercepts that's the technical name uh, but they are our starting points starting points we plot those points first and then do the slope find another point connect them and end up with your line that those are the steps so <coughs> we have three cases if the lines cross each other at one point then we say there is one solution because they meet each other at one point if they don't even touch if they're like parallel then you say there's no solution because they don't even touch <coughs> if when you graph them if you see only one line there's technically two lines but they're on top of each other then that means there are infinitely many solutions because you can find as many points as you can it's all up to your ability on those lines so each point uh, where they meet together, each point is a solution. If they're on top of each other, if the lines are on top of each other, and if a line goes on forever, you can find infinitely many solutions, infinitely many points on, the, on that line. So those are our three cases. No solution, one solution, infinitely many solutions. There's no other things. So uh, let's get started. Now, when you have the same uh, steepness like this if their starting points are different there is going to be no solution so I know that this system has no solution because their steepness is the same down 5 right 1 but their starting points are different that tells me the lines are going to be parallel they'll never touch each other let's just plot it and see if that's the case so let's do the orange one first so we click the block first to plot it right here, okay, and then my starting point is positive 2. I'll start from positive 2 on the y-axis because this is the one here set. So just before that, let me show you why that is the y intercept. It's about the form, slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. We had been talking about this, so I was kind of jumping on the question, but let's just uh, briefly explain the slope intercept form. In this form, this is your y intercept. You go onto the vertical axis and then find that number, plot it. That's your starting point. And then you do whatever this tells you to do, turn it into fraction. If it's just a whole number, like 5, 11, and then divide it by 1, okay? Divide it by 1 and turn it into a fraction. If it's a fraction, just drop it down. You don't need to divide it by 1. Even if you do, it's going to stay as that fraction. So, and then, uh, this is going to tell you what your rise over run equals, okay? Positive number at the top tells you to rise up, negative number at the top tells you to go down, positive number in the denominator of that fraction tells you to go right, negative number at the bottom of that fraction tells you to go left. So now we start from positive 2, if we get back to our question, the orange circle number is positive 2, go to the y-axis, find that point, plot it. y-axis is the vertical one, positive 2 is up here, I plotted my point. And then I will do whatever that negative 5 tells me to do. Now let's talk about that meaning, the meaning of that negative 5. 
So this negative 5 is the same as negative 5 over 1. As I told you over here on the side, if you just have a whole number divided by 1, so you have a fraction that way you can decide what your rise is, what your run is. Rise is negative 5. I think it's pretty logical. You're not going to rise because it says negative. Go down 5 units from that orange point and then run 1 unit over to the right. So I'm going down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and over 1. I hit it and then it draws my line because the line is going to have this point and that point. They just connect the points and then draw your line. That's the first one. Now let's check the blue block out. Okay, and then I, I want to click this first. Okay, let's change the color. Into blue. Now my starting point is this right here. Start from negative five. Let's plot it. Negative five on the vertical is over here. And now I'll do the same thing. The slope is the same, negative 5 over 1. Go down 5 from that point, and then right 1. Go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then right 1. You see that the lines don't even touch each other because their steepness is the same. If one of them is steeper than the other, you will have like this kind of a case. They would eventually meet together. But if their steepness is the same, and if they are starting from different points on the y-axis, they are not going to touch each other. So this has no solution. So I scroll down, pick no solution, and then move on to the next one. And you can always check your work on Desmos. Let's just use Desmos for this question then. So y equals 1 over 2x. 1 over 2 x minus 2 x minus 2 and then 1 over 3 x minus 3 y equals before I do this I, here is what I can see looking at those the slopes are different that tells me the lines will have only one solution if the slopes are different you have only one solution as simple as that. So negative or 1 over 3 minus 3. 1 over 3x minus 3. Oops. Let's get out of the fraction. Take this x out of that fraction. This is getting really good. Okay, out of this minus 3. I need to get three to this keyboard. Okay. So those are my lines. And there's only one solution, negative 6, negative 5. So what you can do to plot these on uh, IXL, find one point for each line, or the one that with the negative 2, it's the purple one. The one with the negative 2 is the purple one, okay? It starts from negative 2, right? Plot it. Go back here, pick the line with the negative 2, it starts from negative 2, and then find another point on the purple line, like this. Or zero, right? And then plot that one. Or zero. So there's only one line that can pass through these two points. Now we were on the green. It starts from negative three. It tells me to go up one, right three. Up one, right three. So I know this is going to be on the line, but let's see how you can use Desmos for that. Find another point, okay? On the black one, find another point. Like right here, negative 6, negative 5. Why not? Okay, that's it. So as long as the lines are right and you pick the right answer, there's one solution, you're good. So that's this uh, assignment. This right here, as you see, the equations are exactly the same. That means they will be on top of each other. You can find infinitely many points on those on that line. You will see only one line anyways. So negative 5x plus 5. Negative 5x plus 5. Y equals negative 5x plus 5. It tells you to start from 5 up there. Over here, let's start figuring one. And then 
go down five, right one. And then do the same thing for the purple one. And let's just double check our work. See if this point is on the line, one zero, okay? One zero is on the line, so they need to start from positive five anyway, so our work is good. So if you do this right, you can still live. So that's pretty much it for this assignment. Uh, you can use Desmos to double check your work. Get the Y by itself, that's your first step, because probably if we go up higher, like here, oh, Y is by itself. Okay, the Y is not by itself. So what you can do in the first one, you can just subtract the X from both of the sides. That's gone, and then rewrite the equation. Divide everything by negative one, Remember, the point is to get the y by itself. And then you can plot this. Start from positive two, go up one, right one, and then hit your second point, you will have the line. Double check your work with Desmos all the time if you are dealing with graphs, okay? Each one of these are called linear equations. When you put more than one linear equation, it is called the system of linear equations. Yeah, that's it for this video guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in another video. Let me know if you have any questions at all.